Hi everybody, Tracy Brown. Oh guys, this has been coming up a lot this past week or two with my own clients and um, just some people who follow me on social media around, um, you know, what do we do and people we care about, especially, either don't get this process of intuitive eating or um, just feel downright hostile toward it and that's so painful and I'm so sorry that um, you might be experiencing that. So I just wanna say a couple of things about it and then I wanna invite you, um, you know, to consider to join me and other people like you who are moving from that kind of fear and feeling alone in this process into a very rich and supportive environment to do this work not in isolation. So going back to what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a couple different circumstances. I'm seeing um, you know, people who just, you know, really don't get it, but they want to, and they want to support you and they don't know how. And so they might make comments of trying to fix you or just help. Um, so it's really important that you take the risk to explain what it is you need and, and what this process is really about. So if you're kind of talking about badly about your body to somebody, you've kind of trained them to try to fix you with that and in our culture the common suggestion to people who don't like their body is well eat less and exercise more and um, that's what just people are conditioned to say to one another and so your job really is to say I'm sorry that I've conditioned you to say those things because I have said that to you in the past like monitor my eating or encourage me to go to the gym and now you're re-educating them on um, when I say I feel fat what I really mean is I feel uncomfortable can we talk or can you sit with me or whatever it is you need. So there's that camp and you want to really have those vulnerable conversations. Now if you have, but you're in an environment with people that you know just are still really really in diet mentality and um, you have explained how important this is to you, um, that maybe you don't talk about food or dieting around you, there's gonna be a couple different things. People might stay silent about that and that's great. Um, and they're always, you know, we're all grown people, so we all get to decide what we do with our food, our weight. People can diet as much as they want to. That's totally their prerogative, and I don't have any judgment about that. I don't want to control anybody. Um, but the path I'm on and what I offer to a lot of people is that um, there are other ways to find our self-worth and our confidence and to feel good in ourselves without having to get a smaller body, no matter what your body size is. Um, does that mean that the little less well tread path? Totally. And that means that not everybody will get that even ever. That's all true. That doesn't mean that you're wrong for, for wanting that or doing that, even if nobody else in your world agrees. Um, and so I know that can feel really sad and feel really lonely. And again, that's what community is for, of finding people who are um, like you who want a different way of being with food and weight and not to worry about it anymore even in a culture that worries about it a lot um, and so you're probably going to get all kinds of um, pushback or feedback sorry about the bouncing guys my stand isn't working today keep going though um, so what I want to suggest to you is don't try to convert or change anybody and but don't feel like you have to be mute, mute or silent about something that's really bothersome to you or if there's a lot of diet talk either. So you can always, not can you always, you really need to learn how to set good boundaries around what it is you will tolerate even if people don't like it. If you leave the room when somebody's talking badly about somebody else's food or body, you can do that, that's your boundary. And that doesn't mean that you're being mean or or um, wrong, or they're not allowed to say what they want to say, you're just doing what you need to do for your own sanity. Um, but your job isn't to convert anybody or change anybody to what you think. It's more about leave it, living in integrity with what's good for you. And you being more filled up with yourself and in confidence about that um, will impact people that are ready for that. And so that's, that's all you can do. Um, now these are just a couple examples, so there's many, many 
Um, like I said in, the, in my group, literally this week we were talking about this and every single person in group had a little bit different experience that we worked through. So everybody got to work through um, their experiences and get support and um, learn just a little bit different language to apply to each situation. So it was really cool and really powerful. So if you want to join along with that, please, um, you can contact me through the Attuned Eating for Attuned Living link or my personal well, email, which is tracybrownrd at gmail.com to learn more about how to get that kind of um, boundaries created and that kind of peace, even if nobody around you agrees. And um, I just want you to have the support and confidence you need to keep doing that and stay on your path. All right. Thank you guys and talk to you soon. Bye.